Well, are you looking for a new furry friend in the golden years? We're going to tell you the best ones that you can take home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Workout classes, crafts, and more. You can do all that here at the Gonzaga Event Center. We're getting a preview. And the beginning of the annual enrollment period for Medicare is this Friday. Everything you need to know is today on SA Live, brought to you by Gonzaga Medical Center. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. All right. Happy Wednesday. And we're cooking up healthy recipes you can make easily at home this fall and appreciating our seniors. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. I have fork in hand and I am ready to eat that. And I'm like, oh, we're giving a shout out to the seniors in our lives today on the show. And if you have any pictures of seniors that are special in your life, please send them in. Those are my two favorite seniors, mom and dad. They are both 94 years old. Ah, uh, and there is Jen's grandpa. Robert's oh, and grandma. Robert our producer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's one of our producers. And of course, another one of our producers, John's grandma and grandpa in that photo. And Diana's, and Diana's our oh. executive producer's grandma right there. Aw. And of course, my favorite senior, Mike Osterhage. <laughs> now, my mom, because she was like, I don't want to send the photo, said, You can absolutely be my favorite senior today instead of her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Because technically, when you get to be, uh, we learned this yesterday, 55, you're you're considered a senior. Yes. So, so yeah, so you're, you're past I'm, that. I'm <laughs> well into my senior years here. So. so be sure to share some photos of the seniors in your life. Send them to at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. And hopefully, you'll try. I love this freeze frame of you right now. I, I'll just keep really? talking while we stay on it. I'm Tag actually, us at SA Live KSAT. I'm actually <laughs> live on TV right now. So, hey, healthy eating is the key to living a healthier life. And our first guest today is a pro in the kitchen. He has taught at the Culinary Institute of America, has worked with the Food Network, and is voted the best chef that you will ever meet. And Mike <laughs> has been picking his brain for the past hour, and today <laughs> Chef Brian West is showing us that preparing healthy and tasty recipes, well, it's not as hard as it looks, right? Not at all. No, it's super at easy, At least with actually. what we're going to do. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so what are all we right. making today? Mm -hmm. So we are doing an apple cider poached uh, salmon and we're going to put it on a bed of some nice hearty fall greens, including kale, uh, with some uh, apricots, um, some pecans, a little uh, fresh apple in there, uh, and a great apple cider vinaigrette. Okay, and the reason why I'm chopping up these veggies, this is, I mean, same thing you'd actually stuff a turkey with, right? Correct. Yeah, that's what's called a mirepoix, uh, which is going to be celery, carrots, and onions, and it's kind of... The duct tape of culinary arts, we, uh, we put it in everything, so yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, so what are some secrets to just making healthier food at home? Sure, it's uh, a couple of things you can do is minimize the salt. I mean, that's that's always a, a big thing to, to try to do. Uh, and you replace that salt with more acidic stuff, so acids and things like that. And that's kind of what we're doing here with adding the apple cider into the, the poaching liquid and then making an apple cider vinaigrette. However, you said now we are, are putting this nice little piece of fish in here, and you do want to salt a little bit, right? Yeah, absolutely. We, we You know, salt is the, is the volume switch of flavor, so it's going to turn those flavors up. You just want to, you know, do it in, in moderation, of course. And this liquid, I mean, this is going enough to, to cook, right? You don't have to have the big rapid boil when you're when you're poaching, right? Absolutely. That's a big mistake that people do is they'll have this hard boil going, and you want to just keep it nice, a nice little 180 degree trickle. Okay. Uh, and so, and then of course you can play around with the court bouillon. We we've actually, like I said, added apple cider to that uh, along with that. So. And that's already in there, and that'll take what 10 minutes, maybe? Yeah, roughly 10 minutes. Okay. And while that's going. Mm -hmm. So this is the hard job part. Uh -oh. So we're going to make the vinaigrette, which I know you've already mixed uh -huh. in the vinegar and the oil. Yep. We're going to add in a little bit of that Dijon mustard over there. So. Um, and that's going to be an emulsifier, which is going to bring the, the oil and the vinegar together. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the oil and vinegar together. Uh, some of our seasoning elements are going to be that little cinnamon stick. We're going to put just a little scotch of that dark brown sugar just to kind of help the flavors kind of pop a little mm -hmm. bit more. And that dressing is officially done. And this is a cool thing to do at the house. You can, you can keep this in these little squeeze bottles here, and you'll shake them up, and you can kind of put it back in the fridge and pull it back out again. Um, this is also a very simple, uh, you know, uh, recipe. You can swap out the vinegars and different types of flavors for that as well. And you can swap out the cinnamon stick for, you said, rosemary. Butter. You can turn balsamic. You can do balsamic mm -hmm. with this one. I mean, there's tons of stuff. Okay. So you're going to lightly dress those greens. And in there, we've got some kale, some spinach, 
some arugula, um, some nice little flavorful greens, which is also going to really enhance that dish as well because every little green in there, you're going to get a little different flavor. Okay, and you said those kind of greens, like the, the baby kale especially, um, it's a little easier because I'm full grown kale, I guess you call it that. Full yeah. grown adult, adult kale? Yeah, yeah, adult <laughs> kale. I mean, that so. can be like, you know, gnawing. The kale yeah, that can, can go be, to the and, bars. And that's the big okay. thing with, with fruits and vegetables. Fruits, you want to eat them fully mature, but vegetables, you want to eat them young because they're going to be much more tender. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, those tender greens are going to be important. Okay. All right. Um, and, and then and Fiona's putting this beautiful garnish in here. I think that's pecans, uh, a little bit of cranberry, some apricot in there, all the fall stuff. Throw those apples in there if you like. There we go. So what is the, the trick, like you said, to eating uh, healthy and with flavor? Because the taste buds tend to kind of kind of wane a little bit as yeah. folks grow older. So it is the, the acidic, even though you have to salt just a little bit here, but the acid, and you said the same place on the on the tongue? Yeah, watching well, your brain. You're, so you, the synapses in your brain fire uh, in the exact same place that salt uh, will for vinegar as well. So you're going to kind of trick the body or the mind thinking that you're going to have something a little more seasoned by adding the acid or the lemon juice, things like that to it. Crucial. That's kind of like how you can add that taste without the bad stuff, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And again, everything in moderation. Um, you know, as far as like, you know, how we're cooking it too is really interesting. Like a classic deep poached fish would be just water. Uh, and so we've added that, that cider in there and kind of give it a little more spark and a little more intensity. And a deep poach versus a shallow poach. I didn't know there were two different things. Yeah, they are completely different. So the, the deep poach, again, is you'll never use that, that broth. Mm -hmm. uh, that broth will only be used as a cooking vessel. And a shallow poach, you'll actually kind of boil the, the, the liquid down and create a sauce for over the fish. And you said poaching. that there is no extra oil being cooked in this. And as a matter of fact, the oil in the salmon is going to come out. And that's how you can tell it's done, too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. One could argue that's probably the cleanest way to cook. Okay. okay. And, and that, that's the thing <clears throat> with, like, the salmon and some of the fat, like if you did the salad with an egg, right? An egg or some cheese, perhaps, with mm -hmm. the greens. It'll all start the digestive process, and it'll go much faster and move through your, your body quicker. Okay. Could you pass me the dressing? I want to do oh, this just a little absolutely. bit so I can, so I can taste go. that. Just Ready? put a little bit on there, and you've got just a slight bit of cheese on top. Yeah, which... just put a little cheese. We've done so okay. many good decisions here with all the vegetables and things. Why not get a little bit of cheese on there, or a lot of bit of cheese? There you go. <laughs> we just put all the cheese. You said hey, with the cheese and the, and the greens, it, it helps. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And you're an honorary French person, by the way. That is so light. That salmon. Is it? Yeah, very, yeah. Light, very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. very clean, mm -hmm. uh, very respectful uh, to the dish and the way I like to put it sometimes. All right, Wonderful. thank you so much. If Brian West, just head on over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab for more information. Okay. Now, you know what else is good for you? Plenty what? of exercise. I know. And that's what Gonzaga <laughs> Medical Group offers for seniors at all of its event centers. Yes, there are four of them around San Antonio, and our Jen Tobias Strusky is live at one uh, there on Pleasanton Avenue. Hey there, Jen. Hello, yes, we are working up a sweat through the power of dance. As you can see behind me here at the Gonzaba Event Center, they have all kinds of free classes for seniors, just like this one, which is Zumba Gold. And joining me now is fitness instructor, Victoria Rodriguez. Hi, hi everyone, how are we doing today? Thanks for having us out here. Oh, it's a pleasure. We open our doors to all the senior community and everyone out there. Come on down, visit us. So why is it so important to do it, to stay active, but also to have fun while doing it for seniors? Uh, staying active is an important part of our senior population and everyone around. We need to keep our joint mobility and it helps decrease uh, de depression and many other mm -hmm. bad uh, diseases that are out there. Mm -hmm. It's to keep moving, keep active, and have fun while you're doing it. And that's what we offer here. And it is so important, especially with COVID, a lot of seniors stayed in. They get depressed and, and they depression. stay in. And this is a great way to come out, not only to stay active, but to engage, right? With engage together. with people, keep mm -hmm. their joint mobility, be mm -hmm. active outdoors as well as in. And this behind us is Zumba Gold. Can you tell me the difference between the gold and then the regular uh, The difference between Zumba Gold and regular Zumba is that at Zumba Gold we dedicate our exercise program around our senior population which means no high impact, everything is kept low to impact. And how often do you do Zumba classes and other classes? Here other at the uh, Gonzaga Medical Group we all offer two classes at the two locations which, which is Zumba Gold and Chair Yoga. Chair yoga. So tell me about the benefits for the yoga as well. The yoga, we use the chair for stabilization and standing poses. We do gentle yoga poses. 
Got it. And there's other events centers as well. So along with workouts, there's other events that are that you guys do there. But you have been doing this for what? Fitness instructing for what? 30 years? You said? Yes, ma'am. I have been mm -hmm. blessed to do 30 years, and it's a pleasure to come aboard with the company I'm with, Gonzalo Medical Group, because they are aware on how their fitness and exercise program is designed. And along with the workout classes, all the events that happen at the event center, uh, it's all about the community. You mentioned you're from San Antonio, so it means a lot to you, right? Yes, I'm from San Antonio. My roots are from here. And it's like the saying goes, yaqui para ti, you know, because we know where we're headed and we know where we're from. Can you tell me what you've seen as far as maybe a senior who never really worked out and then started taking classes and how was their reaction to, to getting active? The reaction to a fitness exercise that we offer through the Gonzalo Medical Group is very energetic, positive, keep going, and that's what we strike at. It's okay. all about our senior community. We're here for them. I love that. Okay. And again, you've been doing this for a long time, so you know how to help them and how to modify. Definitely. And they're doing great back there, guys. Y'all are doing awesome. awesome. They Can you are show doing me a quick awesome. move real quick? Sure. Okay. I know I'm wearing We're going to step out okay. together. Okay. Out together. I should have wore my tennis. Out <laughs> together. Now, in that little pause, we're going to add a little cha-cha. Oh. Wait. Okay. Let's go. Out. <laughs> Cha -cha. They're obviously You're okay. All right, y'all keep going. Oh, great. Keep They're going. Come Gonzaga. on down, visit us. Yes, come visit. Awesome. Thank come you, Come join the fun. Awesome. Four Gonzaga event centers around town with free classes. Free. The keyword for seniors. For more information, call 210-960-8956 or visit gonzaga.com slash say yes. Victoria, thank you guys. Woo! There. And stick around because we have arts and crafts coming up as well. And I think there's some furry friends around here that we're going to meet. Yeah. All right. so Thanks so awesome. much, Jay. Yeah. Thank you. Remember, there are just two days until the annual enrollment period for Medicare begins. It's from Friday, October 15th through December 7th of this year. For more information on Gonzaga Medical Group, just call 210-960-8956. You can also visit their website, gonzaga.com slash say yes. Hey, still ahead on the show, how much do you know about Medicare? We find the questions to the answers over a game of AEP Jeopardy with Erica Gonzaga. And up next, fashion tips for seniors with a sultan of style. Elsa Fernandez from Eye Candy Boutique. Keep it here on SA Live. Hi, my name is Aaron Garza. I'm one of the rheumatologists at Gonzaga Medical Group. First tip, make sure you stay active. Make sure you move around. Walk your dog. Do whatever it takes to move those joints. If you're close to a gym, make sure you join one. Water exercises are great for your joints and they don't impact them. One Hi, my name is Aaron Garza. I'm one of the rheumatologists at Gonzaga Medical Group. Tip number two, you want to make sure you eat healthy. What do I mean by this? Avoid those uh, salty products. Avoid those processed foods or fatty foods. Try to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know what? Getting older doesn't mean you have to be less fashionable. And here with some fashion forward fall fashion tips for seniors is Elsa Fernandez, owner of Eye Candy Boutique here Hello. in San Antonio. Good to see you. It's so nice to be here. Yeah, I mean, why not keep you know going and just go for it as you get older, right? Exactly. You're only as old as you feel. Life is too short. You got to smell the roses and look fabulous while doing it. And the best trick, and I guess, the, or the best tip you said is color, color, and more color, right? Yes. Test, test out colors, test out patterns, test out textures, because you never know unless you're going to try it. And you said if somebody is uh, kind of comfortable wearing perhaps taupes or grays or yes. blacks or whatever, throw in something yes. like this, right? Yes, our first tip is going to be uh, use or try bold colors. So if you're used to a more monochromatic palette, a lot of blacks, a lot of navies, taupes, like Mike said, um, throw in a mustard. Ooh, you know what mustard looks good with? Olive, especially for fall. <gasps> Don't you just feel cozy thinking about it? Yes. <laughs> And then if you have navy or black wardrobe, try to mm -hmm. put in some pops of reds or pinks. The other thing you can do is you can take traditional, like a traditional leopard, but in a different color. So we have the leopard, but in a pink and a red. Oh, okay. And just test it out to see if you like it because you never know unless you try. And it doesn't necessarily have to be an article of clothing, but a pop Correct. of color with jewelry like yes. this, right? So accessories are easily by far the most 
inexpensive or quickest way to update your wardrobe because you don't need to buy new clothing. The accessories are gonna do all the work for you if you look for a pop of color. The tip that we have when it comes to accessories is try lightweight materials so that way you don't have too much hanging uh, on your off of your ear so these for instance are the tassels with the lightweight beads these are a acetate or like an acrylic material mm -hmm. so they're super lightweight and then you have um, clay earrings which are also lightweight now some uh, folks may say oh well no those are for younger gals the, the little tassels that everybody's wearing nowadays. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter if you're 18 or 80, right? No, it does not. Okay. It's a matter of how you feel in them. If they make you feel comfortable and they make you feel fabulous, then go right ahead with it. All right, cooler weather and layering is also yes. something so, to pop with color too. Exactly. So the next tip we have, of course, you're going to want to stay warm when the cool front comes in this weekend, right? Okay, you would know out of better than me. I. <laughs> but um, we have suggested test out different textures. So like the Sherpa, has a, this jacket has a little bit of Sherpa on the collar, but not throughout the whole jacket because we live in Texas, obviously. Right. Um, and then this is, you're going to see these everywhere. It's called a shirt or sweater jacket. They're calling them shackets. Mm -hmm. And we, instead of doing like a traditional all solid color, we did a kind of strawberry pink and mustard plaid. And combination of a cardigan and a, and a light jacket. Yes, exactly. And so it's a traditional sweater cardigan, but with a fun twist because of the pattern and color palette. And even if you wanted to, throw a scarf on with that too, Exactly, right? okay. yes. Okay, next tip. So the next tip is going to be, instead of using a traditional blazer, try to play with patterns. Right here we have a really fun polka dot blazer that is super, super easy to layer, even well into the spring if you have like a and bottom combo. Mm -hmm. You can throw this on and look a little more elevated, but it's more of a stretch material, so you're still comfortable. And if you said that somebody is, well, maybe I don't want to wear this out, do it at home. Why exactly. Not, right? We're, if you're retired, take that time to make yourself feel better by looking nice, and you can test out different patterns on yourself. And you have got a great deal for. Folks, we do. Right? If you are watching today and you order online, you use the code SA Live 2021. You're going to save 15 percent off of regular price items. Okay, and just head on over to uh, your store. You can call for appointments, right? Exactly. Showroom is available Wednesday through Saturday by appointment. Great tips, as always. Thank, Lisa, you, thank you so, you much so much for very much. Me. And of course. You can find out more about Elsa Fernandez and iCandy Boutique at our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead, which pets are best for seniors? Our friends with the San Antonio Humane Society are here with some tips for your boos. Yes, and you have to talk like this, too. And up next, we'll take you to the annual enrollment period for 2020. For 2000, Erica, learn about Medicare with AEP Jeopardy when SA Live continues. Tip number three, you want to make sure that you have a good night's sleep. That means uh, avoid a very large meal before you go, go to bed. Make sure you take time to avoid those stressors or thinking about all what you have to do for the next day before you go to sleep. Make sure you avoid alcohol just before you go to sleep as well. well welcome back to SA Live. We have a special edition of Medicare Jeopardy with Gonzaba Medical Group. I'm your host, Erica Gonzaba. We've got two great contestants here, Mike and Fiona. Hi. You guys are studied, Hello. ready Hi. to go. Hi, Mom. Yes. Medicare experts at this point? Yep. Okay, awesome. Remember, since this is Jeopardy, you have to respond in the form of a question. Okay. Okay? Question Wait, one. These are the dates of the annual Medicare enrollment period. Oh, oh. Yes, Mike. What is October 15th through December 7th? Woo! Very you good. Know. Very good. Okay, Not question yet. two. This is how old you have to be to enroll in Medicare. Oh. Yes, Fiona. What is 65 years old? You're not there yet. So. Right, no, very oh. good, very good. Bonus. Oh, oh. Bonus. What is or a disability? That's right, you qualify. Okay, very good. Great job, you guys. Okay, Bonus. this is tough. Question three, and the final question, okay? So Fiona, you gotta do it, because okay, he's like okay. a point ahead of you, right? Okay. These are the four parts of Medicare. Oh, what? No. What is hospital? What is doctor provider? What are the other two? Part. What is part C advantage and part D prescription drugs? Ooh, very A, B, good. C, 
good. What is A, B, C, and D? I don't know, you guys. Y'all, great job. My, I do think this goes to Mike. Congratulations. Does well, she get a consolation prize? You, you will, yes. Okay. Our couple's taking her to yeah. prepare for it. How can <laughs> folks find out about all of this? Absolutely. It's so confusing, right? So we're here to make it easier at Gonzaga Medical Group. We've got a website, gonzaga.com slash say yes, or you can call the number on the screen. We're ready to help. Any okay. questions at all? Because I know this can be very, very confusing for a lot of folks. Yeah. Absolutely. They're getting so many things in the mail, as you all know. I mean, there's even text messages going on because of the pandemic. They're calling them and a simple, yeah, that sounds good. Even that's an approval at times. So make sure you stay informed, even if it's a family affair, right? We're here to help all of, you know, anyone that has any questions with Medicare. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. And then the information is up on the screen, right? Absolutely. Remember that the annual enrollment period for Medicare is October 15th through December 7th of this year. If you'd like more information, obviously that phone number is there on the screen or gonzalba.com slash say yes. What's my prize again? A uh, trip to Disney World. Yay! Yay. We're going, going to Disney, Disney World. Awesome. <laughs> Congrats, you guys. Great job. <laughs> I wish we were. I know. <laughs> Dylan, Jen is getting crafty at the Gonzaga Medical Group Event Center. Details on free classes for seniors straight ahead. And is Fido the right pet for you? The San Antonio Humane Society gives us tips on which pets are right for seniors. And they have some adoptable little cuties, too. That's all next on SA Live. Tip number four. Make sure you talk to your doctors about any questions that you might have about marketing ads or uh, any commercials that you see about joint pains and arthritis. Why? Because not all that help, uh, can help. And it can be for a specific thing that might not help you. are the best. You don't kiss me while I'm reading, okay? It's <laughs> Kim Hinsey, who is the Director of Community Engagement with the San Antonio Humane Society. So good to see you. Oh, my Hi, goodness. Hi, how are y'all? better oh, than these old cuddly. Oh, I know. They so, make your day so much better. Let's introduce them. Let's give their dating profiles. Yes, absolutely. So Mike has Squilliam, and Squilliam is a four-year-old Maltese mix. Um, super calm, can be calm, great lap dog, uh, likes to play. And, and you know, I swear because I had, I used to have two multi yes. and I always said they're like cotton swabs with eyeballs <laughs> Yes. You love it. Okay. I love that. I right, love that. We'll yeah. put that on there, on their little profile. They're feeling it over there. Feeling okay. It. Who do I have here? You have Antoinette. And Antoinette is a three-year-old little Shih Tzu mix. So oh. just a great little dog. Um, she's so, so calm. calm. Yes, a great lap dog. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and like, okay, uh, and then lay down. Yes. Now, I got yes. your attention, pet me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was sitting there the whole time. She was just laying there. Yeah, she's just happy right now. She's just like, happy. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I and have sweet little Carl. And Carl is a three-month-old uh, shepherd mix. So he's just, he's actually really great, really calm. Um, yeah, going to be probably so, a big dog. He's going to be a big yeah. dog. I think, yeah. as Absolutely. far as seniors are concerned, that a three-month-old shepherd mix would not be the one to necessarily go for because they're going to take a lot of running, a lot of activity, right? Right, right. And it really depends upon your activity. Like, what are you going to be doing? You know, what what's your lifestyle? What kind of things do you want to be doing? So between a shepherd mix, a multi, and these amazing dogs over here, it, it just really depends. So you want to match it to your lifestyle, right? right so that exactly. be one of the tips for seniors when exactly. considering a pet. Exactly. That is definitely one of the tips. You know, if you're going to be active, you're going to be outside, if you're going to be traveling, mm -hmm. or you want to be at home, just kind of watching movies, then you want a lap dog. But really think about what is the right pet for you, and if you have another pet at home, yeah, what is that true. Like? So, um, What about cats? Could, okay. Would cats make a great, great pet for seniors? Okay. Yes, cats are great. They um, are pretty independent. They don't require a lot of maintenance. Um, they're low-key. And they're, they're just, they're great to be around too. Okay, and the best thing to do is not just say, oh, well, it's a Shih Tzu, that's gonna be a good breed for right. me. Go out there and actually 
see the dog in yes. action or yes. inaction as the case may be. Yes, you definitely want to spend time with the dog. So at least 20 to 30 minutes, you want to come out to the San Antonio Humane Society, um, find one that you're interested in because, you know, any dog you can look up, you can learn about their breed, but you really need to spend time with them. And I mean, they're great therapy too, right? Yes, <laughs> overall, you know, they're great. They can help you stay uh, fit. They can help you lower your blood pressure. There are studies that have been found on that. And they just love to be around you. They show, I mean, they love you unconditionally. Mm -hmm. I mean, my blood pressure is pretty low right now, I tell you that, Mike. It is. And even <laughs> for, uh, for manual dexterity, just by, by yeah. petting mm -hmm. a dog, you know, yeah. scratching them around the ears, brushing something like that helps out with, with manual dexterity. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and all of that. And I have a, a sweet dog at home that we adopted from the shelter. And it's just a great dog. I mean, they just, they come and they, they welcome Welcome you, and it's it's just exciting. So, they need I love you. It. They need you. <laughs> they yes. need you. I need to be needed. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. And you've got all sorts of oh, yes, you, 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 of events coming up, right? Yes, yes, we do. So one of the things we want you to come out to the San Antonio Humane Society and see all of our dogs, all of our cats. And one thing that we also like to, to let people know and your viewers know is that we're not associated with the National Humane Society. So definitely come out and see us. And when you make a donation or you adopt a pet, it stays right here in the community. All right. Jay, thank you so much. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is it. This Don't is it. This is what you've been training for. Yes. Feel it? Feel it, feel it. Very good. Look where I'm pointing. <laughs> All right. Well, for more information on the San Antonio Humane Society, all you have to do is head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Thank you so much to William, good, good Antoinette, and to Carl with a K. <laughs> and of course, with a K. All right. All right. Jen is standing by, of course, with a furry friend of her own to tell us what's next that's right we have three furry office dogs here at the gonzaba event center aren't they cute look at silk jay and we're also going to do some crafts coming up after the break but right now it's all about the cuddles the puppy cuddles all right that's coming up next guys hi my name is aaron garza i'm one of the rheumatologists at gonzaba medical group Keep your follow-ups with your primary care doctors, with your doctors, your specialists, and everybody to discuss any questions that might come up. And always, always make sure you communicate any questions that you have. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, you know, arts and crafts can be great therapy and also a really good stress reliever. Oh yes, and seniors can do them for free at Gonzaga Medical Group Event Centers and our Jen Tobias Strusky is live at the one on Pleasanton Avenue and she is getting crafty, eh Jen? Yes, we're having a great time out here at the Gonzaba Event Center. And yes, it's time to get crafty. I have Stephen Vargas, the field manager for Gonzaba Medical Group, and Leticia Banda. And she's joining us to help demonstrate the crafts. So we're going to start with a few. I, these are gorgeous. Leticia, what are you going to start with? I love Thank these. Thank you. So these projects here are very inexpensive. You can find all these little items at the dollar store. So for all our senior community out there, go to the dollar store. You can find little things, just be a little creative on it. You don't have to do it this way. You can make it your own. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start on a little Christmas project for everybody. All right, I love that you can find everything at the dollar store. And this is something you can do, the grandparents can do, right? Stephen, yes. with, with the grandkids even, Yes, absolutely. Right? It, it, it's very important because we know there's a lot of seniors out there. You know, if, if they can't get out meant physically and do exercise and, and walk and things like that they can at least do some things at home that are creative uh, and mentally they can exercise their brain right mm -hmm. so th this is the best way to go arts and crafts it's real easy simple uh, you can do them like I said with your grandkids with your friend your your comadres whoever it is mm -hmm. um, but it's just something to keep going to you know get their minds moving and, and they're doing some kind of activity and you because earlier we showed the physical activity but you're right mentally it, that's also very important what have you seen with these uh, classes as far as benefits for the seniors who take part in these. Yeah, it, there, there's a lot of great things. I mean, uh, as of course, Letty, she's one of my field marketers and, and my other field marketers, they go to a lot of the senior centers in San Antonio so and uh, they sit down with these seniors and, and they show them these arts and crafts. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's very, it means a lot to them because of the fact that they have something to do yes. and, and it's meaningful, right? Yes. So, and it makes them feel good when they, when they complete a project. So, and that's what we're here for. You know, Gonzaga Medical Group, we're here for the community. Uh, we do whatever we can to keep the seniors active. 
both physically and mentally. I know Lati mentioned that she goes to retirement communities, a retirement um, apartment centers even, right? Yes, and they and love they we love it. We, yes. we come out, we join our senior community, we keep them entertained, uh -huh. we do a lot of uh, events like no polish uh, painting for I bet they ladies. love that, right? They do. <laughs> they have a line. They have a oh. line that, that they come and they, they love that we take the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of it is just actually just communicating with them. Yes. Being their friend, you mm -hmm. know, just having something to talk about. A lot of seniors don't have family that come to visit, so, you know, we are their family. Yes, and I can see why they have you in charge of crafts. That's beautiful. Thank you. I try. Yes, I very, try. very nice. And Stephen, it's more than just crafts, though, right? Because there's also bingo and dancing and other things, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we do other things with them. We do bingo. We do loteria. Uh, we do uh, senior line dancing. One of the big favorites is bunko. Seniors love bunko. <laughs> so we try to do a lot of games with them and so forth. Yeah, so keeping them busy. So bingo is a hit, too, I'm sure. And then the dancing. And we saw earlier the workout classes. But just a lot of activities, right, for seniors, and that's the goal, right? That is the goal. Mm -hmm. And so where can seniors find out if they're watching and they want to sign up and maybe do a craft here with Lethe? How can they find out and sign up? Fantastic question. So what they can do is they can go on to our Gonzaba Facebook page mm -hmm. or Gonzaba.com, okay. and uh, that's where we list the activities that we do. And sometimes we also post um, how to do the activity with the directions and the supplies and oh, things nice. that they need. And they can also go on Facebook and also take a look at uh, the giveaways that we do throughout the city, the senior produce giveaways and all that. Perfect. So Facebook page is where to go. Again, there are four Gonzaba event centers around town. Free classes for seniors. Letty, you're doing a great job over here. Yeah. And for more information, just call 210-960-8956 or visit gonzaba.com slash say yes. I think I'm going to help you now. I'm going to start crafting. Perfect. Back to you guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, very cool. I know, yes. with the flowers on top. That was great, Jen. Thank you very much. And don't forget, the annual enrollment period begin for Medicare begins in just two days. Yes, it's from Friday, October 15th through December 7th of this year. For more information on Gonzaga Medical Group, just call 210-960-8956. You can also visit their website, gonzaga.com slash say yes. When you choose Gonzaba, you're like family. The Gonzaba Difference is next on SA Live. The relationship between doctor, medical team, and patient is key. And it's that philosophy which has guided Gonzaba Medical Group for the last six decades in San Antonio. Joining us now is Francisco Gonzaba, Director of Business Operations at Gonzaba Medical Group. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course, thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about the guiding philosophy for Gonzaba Medical Group for these past 60 years. Well, the guiding philosophy of Gonzaba Medical Group has really been from our from Dr. Bill Gonzaba, our founder and CEO. He's instilled in each and every one of us the, the philosophy of Como Familia values. That extends to all our staff and of course to our patients through the delivery of um, health care for the community. And so what was the catalyst that led Gonzaga to focus on seniors? So the catalyst really has been, uh, unfortunately, um, seniors in San Antonio are, are underserved. Many of them, they're low income and in need of quality health care. That's especially true on the south side of San Antonio, where we really got our, our focus. And, and Dr. Bill has always made a commitment to deliver care where it's needed, and, and that's where it's needed. So what makes Gonzaba different? What sets it apart from the other medical groups? So what sets Gonzaba apart is the fact that we combine primary care with specialty care, um, other services like PT, PM&R, radiology, and we combine that and it's managed really under one roof. On top of that, you know, our, our seniors really trust trust the relationship we have with them, and and it's it's uh, it's evident by the fact that we were voted the number one medical group in San Antonio by Express News readers. So so we're 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 thankful to have that designation and that relationship with our patients. And you've got a new Hillcrest location, right? That's right. Um, so our Hillcrest location opening October 29th at the end of the month. We're very excited. It's our newest location. And and it's right next to one of our Woodlawn locations, but we're committed to serving the seniors of San Antonio right in that area, and we're excited. All right, and of course, the annual enrollment set to start in just a couple of days.
days. That's so let's right. get the information up on the screen. Gonzaga Medical Group has nine locations around town and four event centers with free events for seniors. For more information, just call 210-960-8956 or visit gonzaga.com slash say yes. Francisco, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We take a trip out to the Texas Hill Country for food and wine all in one new estate. Plus, they were named one of the 100 best bakeries in America by Food and Wine, and they are stopping by to share their pan de muerto with us. All that and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Ooh, yes. Hey, earlier we asked you to give a shout out to the seniors in your life. And my favorite senior, according to Barbara, is husband Gary turned 82 yesterday. Happy birthday. Aw, this is from Paula. Here's my little senior citizen. Coco turned 15 this year, and in dog years, it's about 83 years old. And Alma um, says, SA Live, big shout out to my mother-in-law, Lupe. She turned 73 years old today. Happy birthday, Mom. We love you from Alma and the rest of the gang. Have a great day. And Linda says, this a shout out to herself. She's a senior. Looking fabulous, Linda. Doesn't look like a senior. Wow. I know. All right. Well, remember, the annual enrollment period for Medicare begins this Friday, October 15th, and runs through December 7th. For more information on Gonzaga Medical Group, just call 210-960-8956 or visit gonzaga.com slash say yes. And a big thank you to Gonzaga Medical Group. Today's show. Yes. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow at 1.